Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Aparna Arts. Today I am going to show you how to paint double daisy uh, with the background I will be doing with sponge technique. So you will know how you can do the background color and you can do this painting freehand on saris, dresses and uh, tops. And this is very beautiful design and very easy to so uh, those who are interested can buy my freehand painting book uh, with notes so uh, so that you can do and follow my videos easily uh, i have taken this 100% uh, uh, cotton cloth and this is a much bigger size than a3 so i'll uh, show you on this cloth how to do this uh, painting See, first I'm taking uh, fabric colors on this 100% cloth. I'm taking uh, fabric colors and medium. Uh, then uh, I'll be mixing um, for background. I'm taking uh, this uh, brilliant purple. That is brilliant pink or brilliant purple, whatever you can say. And uh, this is the sponge piece I'm taking. So... And now on a flat surface, on a tile, I'm taking this color and I have mixed medium. I have taken medium in this brush and now mixing it. So take as much color as you want and then mix it. Now with sponge, I'm dabbing the color. See, I'm taking the color like this now and then now you can apply on the cloth wherever you want actually here and there if the color is not enough you can take mix more dark you should take taking more of color you will need more color for this uh, technique you can keep a newspaper behind the cloth and uh, do this dabbing work wherever needed Whatever colors you like, you can dab like this for background. On any light color sari, you can take dark color, dark color or a brighter color. And if it is a dark sari also, you can take a much darker color for background dabbing. If there are small sponge pieces also, you can take those. So this will take little time for dabbing. Now I'll take different colors. Another color you can take now. You can make it more darker. So 
how this background you can do it later also a little bit now with a six number or nine number brush you can use and make daisy strokes i'm taking the you can take metallic colors also or uh, this is metallic red the pink you can mix little this is a little abstract design so now we can make for a little pink round for shading actually while dabbing you can take this color uh, pink brilliant pink or brilliant purple you can see whatever color you can do this with a sponge more with sponge you can dab more and make it more brighter and keep uh, this thing what you say uh, a newspaper behind this color see if this color red is dull you can mix more i'm taking much darker color now i have mixed crimson in metallic so you'll get metallic crimson color these flowers actually look very beautiful this double daisy you can make petals of different sizes and those who are interested can join my online free hand painting classes and there are many other courses which i take i teach uh, actually tanjore then uh, mm, tanjore painting freehand painting there are many other courses oils uh, then roses course in crafts i take oregata flowers emsil flowers uh, incense holders i can teach and uh, See if you want a thick petal, you can take double stroke. So now again, I'm doing other strokes again. As it is double lazy, I'm taking another layer of petals. These are daisy strokes. You can say this as double chrysanthemum also. double you can turn the frame when you are doing for first time you can turn keep a, when you are having a round frame you can keep turning it for the flower so now this flower i am doing the center now you can make two daisies and this composition will be actually over with the, that 
it's a very fast and you can do this design very fast two three shades lemon yellow also taking lemon yellow With small, I am taking one more small piece of sponge so that wherever needed, we can dab this pink. With sponge, I am doing this color so that So when you give dark shade behind, the flower is highlighted actually. And uh, there is my freehand painting course book. If interested, you can buy that. And uh, it will be easy for you to follow these um, videos also. After buying that book. And there are many other courses which you can join if interested and in boards oils and acrylics i'll be teaching a smaller board so now this after this tazy again i'm i'll be painting one uh, uh, let's paint one bud here on the top I have taken actually first i took metallic red but uh, it is not uh, looking good. So I have changed the color. I put added crimson in metallic red. So now I'll be doing the small flower. Here. We can take, if you have a longer cloth this side, you can make the bud there. Otherwise, you can make here. This is a daisy bud. Half flower, sorry, not a bud, but half flower. For a darker shade, you can add more dark. Yeah. Now I will take uh, which color? Light green I am taking. Only light green. I 
and you can mix medium in the light green. And in light green, I am mixing, taking little yellow here and there um, to give a much brighter look. See, yellow brightens the color. So here also we'll make a leaf. And one more small bud we'll make here. Small leaf and small bud. This is the bud. This is half flower. So now I'm making a bud. And I'm taking little yellow and green. Now again, for uh, full uh, this composition, to look much more beautiful, I'll make one more flower here. You can do the placement first so that you know where you can make. So this is the placement I'm taking. So you can take a little more up here. They can change, no problem. Here I'm making. So now again, I'm taking crimson and mixing <coughs> metallic red in it. Now the petals, daisy strokes, double daisy. If you have a thick brush, in one stroke, nine number brush, you can make the strokes very easily. Just in one stroke, you can get. See this flower actually looks so beautiful. Even if small mistakes are there, you can cover them. Tanjor also I teach. Small boats like jewelry, peacocks and swans. You can learn. Now, again, the second layer. second layer of uh, the uh, petals for double as it is double daisy we have to make the second layer so metallic red metallic red was actually looking dull so I have taken these colors you can make small
now the center part while doing sponge uh, dabbing you can keep the cloth straight on the uh, some flat surface and you can uh, dab it uh, keep behind you can keep newspaper or plastic sheet you can keep And then again, you can make that uh, sponge color with uh, pink. You can make little darker. See here, near the flower, you have to take dark. So with sponge, if you keep it on flat surface and dab, it will come out well, actually. Wherever you want color, you can dab. See, now the flower is looking much better with this. Now light green I am taking for uh, the other leaves and stems and uh, you can take yellow, lemon yellow to highlight the flower. Now the down portion, you can make more of leaves and uh, the stems also, stems I'm making. And then I'm taking yellow to highlight the stems. For leaves also, here and there I'm taking yellow to brighten the color Now, the leaves. You can make abstract leaves also, or the pair of like this leaves. And little, if you want dark. You can mix little red in green for dark shade. Light green. Here also, wherever needed, you can make leaves because leaves only increase the beauty of the flower. Yellow, I'm taking to highlight now. The now, if you want some more uh, small flowers for the half flowers you can make here 
one more flower. This is one more flower, small flower. So that the bunch looks nice and complete. Wherever needed, more flowers you can add. And those who want to buy these designs, they can uh, contact me. My number is 961. 8024034. It's there in the description below my video. So you can call me and uh, you can buy all my live streaming designs. Some of my originals have been sold out. So you can get the photocopies. Here on the top also, I have made this leaf here. So now the design is almost complete. And you can contact me for online classes, everything uh, in my description, my number, all my details are given. So see friends, it's already complete, this design. And uh, you can paint this for sari borders and uh, dresses and tops. And it is very easy and simple. With sponge, you can just uh, spread the color for shading behind the flowers. And you can uh, just highlight the flowers. You can use... 3D Frolica cone to highlight them. And uh, those who are interested, do call me. My number is in the description. I'll come again of, uh, day after tomorrow on um, uh, Thursday. So I'll show you something very easy and some new techniques in painting, uh, freehand painting. So see you. Bye-bye. And uh, my thanks to all those who have come live on this session. Thank you, everyone, for coming live.